Hello, welcome to Dorcas Fashion Academy. I am Dorcas Hammond and I will be teaching today how to make a hooded wrap. This is more or less a placement that you should put your patterns and cut around them. This one will be the front with the front facing and this one would be the back. You would position the back on a fold. I've got a seam here which I've already sewn because I didn't have enough fabric but you can place it on a fold. You need about one meter ten and um, this is the pocket placement and this is the belt. Now the belt I cut from in between because this wasn't a large size but sometimes you haven't got enough and you can get it from the width at the top of the fabric. You also need to cut two little pieces about eight centimeters by four. I'll explain to you what this is later. So let's get cracking. First of all, we're going to start with the pockets. We're going to fold approximately two centimeters down and pin all the way across. If you pin sideways, you can sew over the pins. So we're going to sew across the pin. So now I have sewn a zigzag all the way across. What we've done is zigzag sewing and neatening at the same time. Although this fabric doesn't fray, we have neatened a little bit uh, our pocket. We pin two centimeters along the side of the pocket inwards, making sure that the, the bottom is rounded. Well, we don't want it to be square. We want it with a soft curve. So making sure you have a little bit of a kink there, distributing the fabric evenly all the way around the pockets. Okay, so I've pinned my pockets and what I forgot to say before is when you present your pattern onto the fabric and cut around, you've got to do your notches. Now, your notches are on the hood bit is where this fabric would be folded. This is your facing bit so that the front of the hood is nice and neat. So you have a notch at the top and a notch at the bottom of your hood. Then you have one for the armhole and one for the belt loop. So bearing in mind your, your notches, you should fold your facing inwards so that we know where to align our, our pockets. You can use the pattern as a guide to where your pockets are, but sometimes if you prefer to put them wherever you see fit, uh, it's okay. So we are going to have a two centimeter hem at the bottom. So bearing that in mind, you want to position your pocket from the bottom about eight centimeters, having enough space on either side to have it centered. So something like this. If you have them both in the front, you can see if they're symmetrical visually. If you don't want it um, to be visually, you want to measure, you can measure exactly the same amount on either side, the bottom, the sides, the top, and uh, this way you can make sure that they're okay. Pin all the way around, but open up the facing so that you don't catch it with the pins. We're going to be sewing and we don't want to sew the facing with it. You can sew with a zigzag in the same manner as we did the top of the pocket, but don't forget to leave this gap so that you can put your hand in. So let's sew.
So now that we've done the pockets, we are going to start sewing the hoodie. So the hood we're going to put right sides together from the very top to the back of the hoodie. This bit you won't sew because this is the neck bit. This will be connected to the back piece. So only sew this piece around. So now our hoodie is sewn. We need to connect the shoulders to the back piece. And this is our back. As you can see, we have the shoulders and the neckline. So from the outer side of the shoulder, we are going to start pinning. And what you will realize is that our front shoulder is shorter than our back, but that is done like that purposely. As you can see, the front shoulder is shorter than the back, but that's okay because we need it like that. We need to snip later so that the neck of the hood can attach itself to the neck of the back piece. So even though it lands up to about two centimeters from the edge, you're going to sew at one centimeter and you're gonna finish about a centimeter from the edge. Imagine we have one centimeter seam allowance and one centimeter seam allowance at an angle. At that point is where you're going to finish. We're going to pin both shoulders and sew from here outwards or from the outer inwards, but only up to here, leaving your seam allowance free so that we can actually cut our snip. No pasa nada, si va a hablar, da lo mismo. Dime. Okay, so we've sewn our shoulders. Now, this bit is the most scary part of the whole hoodie and uh, you shouldn't be scared because it always has a solution. But if you don't do this properly, then the hood won't sit right. These two are the ones that we're going to be joining. But because we've sewn up to this point, this hoodie bit is not free, free to turn to the, to the neck of the back piece. So we need to cut here. And don't worry, it's something that has to be done. So take the hoodie piece and chop off 
to where you started sewing, to that point, single fabric. What does that do? Well, now it liberates this piece so that you can turn it towards the neck of the back piece. If you wouldn't have cut it, it couldn't turn around, pivoting. So we also cut the other side without being scared. Always looking into the point where you have the piece sewn. So now that it's liberated, you can pivot these two pieces easily. So taking your center hoodie, and obviously I have a seam at the back is my center back, but it would be on a fold at the back piece, on the back piece. Align the hoodie with the center of the back and pin. And now that we have our snip in place, you can easily pin from here onwards. And what we're going to do, we are going to sew from where we left off in this corner point all round the neck towards this other point here, joining the piece. So from there to there. Okay, so now we have our hoodie. Oops, we have a pin here. The hood sewn to the back, neck and shoulders. So now we need to do the sides. But first of all, we are going to do the belt loops to include here. They should be about eight centimeters by four or five. I cut them a bit wide. So I'm just gonna trim them. And all we need to do is overlap like this and do a zigzag. Because this fabric doesn't fray, it's not a problem. Should it fray, then you'd have to do it in a different manner. Basically, these are your belt loops. We're going to fold them in half and we're going to look for the position of the waist notch. So this is our front with a hood and we have two notches. The top one is the underarm and the bottom one is the waist. So if we fold it and position it on the waist, we can sew over it. If you think it's too thick, you can also position it like this. Not one on top of the other, but one beside the other. And I think with this fabric, we're going to actually do this. So I'm going to sew and secure it. Do the same on the other side.
so now we need to put our sides together right sides facing and we shall be sewing from the underarm to the bottom give or take about two centimeters I think two centimeters is better in such a thick fabric, but in a thinner one, you can always do one. So I'm going to pin from the bottom to the underarm notch, about two centimeters, over the belt loop, and all the way down. And I, I will sew down both sides. So my sides are done and this is my opening for my armhole. So I'm going to fold about two centimeters all the way around and I'm going to zigzag in the same manner as we did the pockets. But in this bit I'm going to go across and all the way around to flatten the seams. Okay, so our armholes are done and um, all we need to do is the hem and the facing. The hem at the bottom is again in the same system, two centimeters and a zigzag all the way around. And I'm going to do that now. Okay, so our hem is done and we're going to do the facing. Now remember we had a notch here at the top and at the bottom. This is where the, the facing would fold inwards. So actually we have to pin all the way along. Make sure that you pin because otherwise when you get to the bottom it would be askew. What you do have to bear in mind is that we have a pocket here and what you don't want is to sew over the pocket. So don't pin where the pocket is. You only pin up to the pocket and then the bit below. Leave this free and then afterwards you can either sew it by hand or just leave it like that because it will be secured all the way along. You can Sew this with a zigzag at the edge, and that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so I've already sewn this. As you can see, we have a very faint zigzag line, and I haven't sewn over the pocket so that I can put my hand in, and this is now free. So our hoodie is practically ready. All we need is our belt. Now the belt is done is in the same manner as we did the belt loops and I will show you how now. Right, well, we did do the belt loops in this manner. We folded half and we overlapped half. Now, I didn't have a lot of fabric for my belt, so instead of overlapping it, I'm actually making them meet in the center and doing a zigzag a wide zigzag to catch both sides. 
This is one that I did earlier. So basically it's quite thin in proportion to this fabric and all it is is that I've overlapped both facing each other and a wide zigzag. So basically this is it. All you need is to put on your belt and wear your hoodie.